Well, go on traders, you are the traders here again. Happy Friday to you guys. Uh, we have come now to the end of the trading week. And uh, as we can see on the chart here, Mullen is holding, I would say, steady. So I want to say thank you guys for, you know, subscribing. We have added another 20 subscribers. Um, no, I'm now at 85 subscribers. So I'm going to give you a little bit of extra. Um, I'm going to be speaking about other EV companies at the end of this um, modern discussion. So I'll be looking at Lucid, Neo, and Tesla. Well, let me just continue with Mullen here. So, um, as you can see, we came down to the um, support, the old support at 26 cents. We pushed back up um, closer to the end of the um, trading day yesterday. And now pre-market, we have come back down a bit. So what we want to see is for Mullen to kind of hold this level we don't want to see it drop below this um, support, this level of support. We want to see it um, start pushing back up, uh, you know, when the market opens. So everything seems to be in place here now, guys, for it to start going back up. So we are following this, this yellow line here, this diagonal trend. We are following this diagonal trend. So we are close to the bottom. So we are, I'm looking for, you know, at least a bounce up off it maybe not if not today next week um the rsi as you can see is in oversold territory so everything is looking um you know like a good setup for the stock to start pushing back up and chances are not financial advice chances are this could be good timing for those guys that have that are waiting for the paycheck today to say, okay, do we do we load up some more or watch and see what's happening? But at least this gives you know people um, time to actually um, arrange that, put their business in order. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's going on with Yahoo Finance at Mullen. So as you can see here, um, Mullen was basically flat, went down almost three percent yesterday. Up back almost one percent pre-market so i would say basically flat okay that changed while i was speaking but basically flat um in terms of market cap um we were hovering around 500 little under 500 um million yesterday we are at 463 so a little bit of sell-off but nothing major average volume at 225 but we came in at 181 so the volume was a little bit um, low. So if you look at the, the comps, so everything else um, on the EV side was, you know, basically red. Well, the market in, in general was, was basically red. Uh, let's see, if you look at the the um, the TXX, the, the SPY, the Dow, everything was red yesterday. So the market, um, you know, was more on the, the the bearish side. So um, in terms of the comps, arrival drop um, 7%, Lucid 8%, and Neo 2%. I'm going to speak about those two. Xpen almost 2%. So, you know, the market on our, on our whole is, is red. So... Chances are you wouldn't expect the the stock, you know, to do much if volume doesn't come in. So let's take a look and see what's going on with options. Options are usually the indicator of what's going, what's happening. So, as you can see here, our call volume has gone up. We're at 30 plus yesterday. Now we're at 57,000 um, in terms of call volume. The puts basically um, non-existent 2000 so the volume seemed to be coming in is it um going to hold we want to you know keep an eye on that but at least there this is a good sign that the, the volume is coming in in terms of open interest for today it expires today open interest is still at eighty five um thousand for today for next week thirty three thousand and for the other week, 
12,000. So seems like we're in a good position for the stock to do something um, possibly today or maybe early next week guys so we'll wait and see all right so i'm gonna switch over now to um as i said i'm gonna give you a little bit of extra information with with you guys other ev stocks so let me just switch over now to um let me talk about lucid first Alright, so for Lucid, I'm going to zoom out. Usually for penny stocks, I zoom down to the 4 hour chart. But for you know these growth stocks, I usually zoom out just to get a, a, a frame of reference in terms of where they are because they have been around for, for you know a little, little while now, couple, two years so to speak. So usually I look at the trend at a higher, higher level. All right, so as you can see here, guys, Lucid. Wow, Lucid is such a disappointment for me because I've been in this stock from, you know, before even the name change, all that. Um, so where the stock is now, it's kind of dropping all the way down. It has dropped below the, the old support. Oh, I was trying to remember the name. Churchill. Churchill is the name of the the old the old stock ticker. Churchill Capital. Yeah, that's when I had bought some some Lucid, but it doesn't um, you know. I like the car and everything, but I I don't know what's going on with the company. But you know, I'm just gonna tell you what's going on with the stock. So it has dropped below the support at nine dollars plus the old support which we would have hoped that it would have um, held there so now it's on a downward trend as you can see here now guys it all came down all the way down to six dollars it has pushed back up a bit to seven dollars 45 but it's still on a downward trend so i draw i drawn these trend lines since when well, last year around february there about april to see if it will um, come out of this trend. So if I extend the line, as you can see, it's still it still is um, within this downward trend. So what we need for it to do is actually try to retest this downward trend line to pop back above it. To to do anything at all, it needs to do um, get back above this um, downward trend line. So let's take a look at the the options for for Lucid. So in terms of the options for Lucid, um, volume guys, look at this volume call volume sixty one thousand, while puts seventy seven thousand. So this is heavy in terms of the beers, guys. Um, a little bit more. People are betting that the stock will go further down than those that are thinking it will go up. So that's not good for Lucid. Lucid need to, you know, maybe um, share some good news or something to, to make this stock turn around because I do like the, the, the cars, you know, I really like them. All right, so let's take, take a look at Neo. All right, so I've, you may have heard this from me before. Neo has been my baby from before any YouTubers started talking about it. Um, from it was like two dollars to three dollars, and I started buying at five dollars. But I've been um, Neo is a you know don't get me wrong, Neo is a great company. Um, it has a lot of growth, breaking records in terms of its sales, deliveries, and all that stuff. But in terms of the stock itself, I'm not even going to talk about the geopolitical stuff, but in terms of the stock itself, it's on a downward trend. As you can see, the diagonal line here, this is what I drew two years ago, and it has been following this diagonal downward trend all, all along. What we need for Neo to do is break through this downward trend, and I said couple couple days ago or last week 
that Neo need to break the twelve dollars to actually push back above this downward trend. But as you can see, it failed this um, to break the downward trend. It's now dropping again. So chances are we want to see Neo not get below the. Um, this is around the nine dollar fifty ten dollar mark the support we don't want to see drop below there would would love to see it get a bounce back up all right so let's take a look at the options what the options are saying on neo so call options um the volume is eighty seven thousand while the puts are fifty seven thousand so a bit more persons are betting that the stock will go up than those that are saying that it will go down. So, you know, fingers crossed, guys. I really like the stock. All right, the last one, Tesla. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. <laughs> All right, this is another story. Um, I have been trading Tesla for quite a while now. I have bought at the dips. I have bought um, at 125. I didn't sell. Came back down to 187, and actually, um, it retested the four. It went up to 414. So I'm talking. This is um, you know post split. I'm talk talking about the current price here, and it came back down a bit. Went back up around um, at four three ninety nine four hundred at this level and this is when I actually had sold my my most of my Tesla it was actually eleven hundred dollars prior to the split so I'd sold it at that time and I drew this the, the trend line at that time also you know draw a trend line at the top draw a parallel copy that trend line and put it at the bottom here just to see how um, Tesla would, would would be doing but look at this guys tesla has now has fallen out of that um you know the the general trend here although it's dropping it has had fallen even further below that general trend line so now i have to switch over to you know support lines support and resistance lines so right now tesla is sitting on around the um $126 support so right now it's a little bit iffy in terms of will Tesla drop further uh, what we're looking at if Tesla is to go up at least I should have seen like a sharp rejection for it to say go back up and stay above the support just like at this level you saw that sharp rejection here at the um, 235 so we didn't get a sharp projection here guys to push it back up and let it remain on top of the um push it through the resistance and make it sit on top of a new support we didn't see that rejection and look at what we're seeing here we're seeing even a a, a, a tail at the top here at the 127. so chances are tesla may come down and retest the 100 at the 100 level okay before it you know we see what it's going to do in terms of pushing back up or maybe dropping further so we need to keep our eyes open. for those that persons that are in keep their eyes open because this is an old support so let me just draw the line here that is an old support all right so if it comes back down to that old support at a hundred dollars We'll see if it holds. If not, the next level, I doubt it will get to this far, but who knows. The next level is at 61, so we we'll draw another line there. Okay. So let's take a look at the options. So for Tesla, basically, you know, even in terms of call options versus put options, basically even. I would say a little bit more on the put side more than on the call side so yep fight between the bull and the bears guys all right so as i said i'm just giving you this little extra so just to say thanks again for all the support 
and all for, for all the subscribers who have subscribed so again if you like this type of content give me the thumbs up if you like the extra videos that I did um, just you know hit me up in the comments to say you know appreciate it or not if the video was too long and don't forget to subscribe guys I want to get to a hundred subscriber subscribers guys so really appreciate it all right so all the best for the weekend and take care